mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello Burberry Troop, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills and welcome to another piece of tea. Um, right now, we're going to be talking about the real housewife of Miami, specifically Julia Lemigoba, because she is letting us know on, letting us in, I'm sorry, on her fear and how was that coming out story and not only story but like how she was able to come out to herself to really enjoy being part of you know a lesbian relationship when she's coming from a country of what it used to be the soviet union okay so i thought that this was very interesting because it's like a little piece of tea but it's like more like profound because it's a whole story behind it right but before we get into it do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel do it right now if you are new here and you want to join the very troops subscribe 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 hit the notification bell we are on our way to 30k so if you want to join the family you know what to do and let's talk about this mess okay so as i was saying you know coming out is a very um challenging thing to do you know uh, being part of the LGBT community, I know about it. Uh, it's something that is very personal. It's something that it's not fair, but it's something that we have to think and that we have to do not once nor twice, but like many, many times during our lives, okay? Because we are still, well, it's getting better with new generations, but we're still living in a war when like where people... Uh, assume that everyone everyone is straight and that everyone is you know men and women and that that is the way it's supposed to be you know so it's like a little bit hard that you know every single time no i mean you initially come out to your family but then it's not about your immediate family it's about your the rest of your family your extended family your friends and then constantly having to come out every <coughs> single time that that you start a new job, that you, you know, make new friends, meet new people, you know, and it's constantly that thought on your mind, like, oh my God, is this person going to be okay with it? Is this person a homophobe? Is this person, like, what is going to happen? And that's counting that you are here in America where people are already, like, pretty open. Now, imagine being in a place like Russia or, like, like over there, you know, like, that it's very still very taboo where they still attack you where they still uh go after you just for who you are right so anyways um i'm gonna read you this piece right here which is basically julia talking about her journey with martina and how everything kind of like went down okay and then we're gonna discuss a little bit it says as the only real housewife in, in a same-sex marriage to tennis legend Martina Navratilova, Julia Lemigova knows about breaking boundaries. However, it took the former Miss USSR a long time to be open about her sexuality, even shamefully hiding her romance with Martina at first. She says... We never talk about gay relationships in Russia. It's only when I left Moscow and moved to Paris that I discovered that there were all type of relationships and loves. Still, she added, even though I had relationship with other women, it was in a private close circle. I couldn't imagine holding another woman's hand on the street. I was very much in the closet all those years. I must have hurt Martina so much because she is a pioneer of LGBTQ liberation and being herself. When she tried to hold my hand, I will say, darling, we cannot do this. We are in Paris. What if someone see us, the neighbors? Let me go over say with regret. I don't even know how she stayed with me for so long. It's only when I came to Miami that I was open. 
This town helped me to come out of the closet. And then I was thinking, oh my God, what a fool I was. How could I wait for so long? After Martina publicly proposed to Lemmy Gova at the US Open in 2014, the couple tied the knot later that year with a star stud wedding reception attended by Brooke Shields, Chris Everett, Linda Carter, and models Carolina Korkova and Rachel Hunter. One thing that Lemmy Gova said helped her go public with her relationship was her daughters, Emma and Victoria, who came to view Martina as their parent. So I think that's a very like powerful statement of what it's like, what I was saying, you know, what it's like to be part of the LGBT community, because yes, new generations are doing an amazing job. You, th you look at these kids, since they are like little kids and they are already open, they already don't care uh, who is who or what is what, you know, like they just are so open to everything. They, they grow up like schools nowadays, people are more uh, open. They're still, you know, bullying. They're still, they're always, I, I feel that we are still far away to live on a world without homophobia. You know, but we are going through that journey and we are going to get there eventually. Uh, it's it's going to be little by little, but at least it's getting a little bit better. You know, me coming from, for example, from Colombia, which is a Latino country, uh, which is a, uh, it has a lot of like macho culture and like, you know, um, a lot of homophobia. It was hard, you know, and and I had a great family. Like, I knew in the bottom of my heart that my family was going to be okay with it. But you still wonder. I still didn't come out of the closet till I was, like, 24. Because I was afraid that I was going to be kicked out of my house or that my parents were, will stop paying for my studies or, you know, a bunch of other situations that you see on other people in Colombia, part of, of the community, you know? So you get very scared. And then after everything was out with my parents, it was all about like how I'm going to tell my aunts, how I'm going to tell my cousins, my grandma, all these people that I love, what if they have a problem with this? You know, I had people from on my other side of the family who tried to use this as a weapon, you know? So it's like, you have to really be careful of like how you do it. And then, like I was saying, it's not only your family, it's your friends, you know, like I grow up being straight, you know, like pretending to be straight, you know, and uh, all of my friends, like 99% of my friends were straight all my life. So, you know, having to have that experience of coming out and like telling all my friends, like, okay, this is the real me kind of shock a lot of people, you know, but it, it, it is the only way that you can live and be your true self. I moved to LA and to California for the liberation that it comes with it, you know, and how easy it is to just live here and be happy. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this story of Julia and I completely 100% I'm able to relate to her. I'm so happy that she is living her full life, that her children support her, you know, that she is in this amazing marriage with Martina, who you can see that they love each other very much. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it, right? I, that's basically what I want to tell. Like I said, it's, it was not like TT, like uh, gossip, but it was also a beautiful thing. And I think we should also, especially with everything horrible that is going on around the world, it is important to um, have this pieces of information which are all about love and acceptance and tolerance right anyways let me know what you guys think in the comments below and like always don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you in an hour see ya bye